Hello, my little munchkins, my little crones, and my sunflowers. How are you? Well, I hope everything with you is copacetic. And I say to you, welcome back Monday. What is it called? Back to Life Monday. You know how it is. I hope you had a wonderful day. I hope some of you didn't wake up with a hangover. I hope that you did have a hangover, but I love hangover. I just hope you had a wonderful weekend. And for my sick and shedding, the word of this week would be what? Safe to feel safe and secure. That's the word of the day. Now, what I'm going to read on, I'm going to read on Portia. Le Gagadia, how you say her name? Gagadia. Gagadia, no offense. Don't know how to say her name. But nevertheless, that's, this is what I do know. Now, you know I already read on Portia. Now, the word on the curve that when I read on her with Bravo, it was like she's rich, she's doing good. And I read on her. I read that, uh, I read on her that, you know, she made a good contract with Bravo. I also realized that Bravo is, um, I don't know what it was, was it snakes, but they can't be trusted. So Bravo brought her back on the show, understanding that she had all this drama going on in her life. Bravo was about the money. And you know what? Already the bloggers are like vultures. They done zoomed in on it and they eaten the carcasses. I don't even know if anything left because they, they're like at the grand feast. They at the grand, they at the grand feast, and they are gorging on this information about how her husband is a criminal, how he cannot come into the United States. I don't understand how. And, and Portia was her grand thing. Oh no, y'all got it mixed up. You say I'm coming here as Portia Williams. No. I'm Portia Lavatica. Regatica, excuse me for the name. Put her name up so I know. I apologize for pronouncing the name wrong, but you know what I mean. Now, for me, I can only speak for me. I would not be proud. After the fact that you went in and you took the woman from Fallon, okay? You're, let's look at the story. Now you think you got this prize. Now you got him. And now we find all this. I kept asking, why would Portia take this job to humiliate herself? Portia need money. Y'all told me, see, that's why you can't trust bloggers. Y'all told me Portia made money. Portia rich. Yeah, she could be rich off a thieving husband. Yeah, she could be considering what, he, what he's been in. And this is one of the funniest things. They said that man was 64 years old or 62 years old. And I said the man looked good. Baby Cone said, no, he 59. That was just one of his alias. He had alias. You know, people, this is not funny, but he is not welcome back in this in this country. I don't know. I know he can't live here. And I guess he's on a visa. But that puts me to put Portia. Portia, what kind of marriage you have, Miss Gagardia? Gabadia. What kind of marriage is that? Forgive me for the name. No disrespect. What kind of marriage is that? If your husband got to be here only so much and then come on, are you going to really give up your citizenship and move to Africa? Girl, come on and talk to me. I would be embarrassed humiliated. And you're not going to tell me Portia's not, but I can tell you this and I'm going to tell you, you know, Portia always had a bad taste in men. God bless her. She always had the worst taste in men. Now, this man, lover, he's just a shyster. He's a hustler, baby. That's all that is. He's a man that says, I want money and I want it now. And it's like, I ain't got time to get it the right way. I got to get it. I got to get my hustle on. That's what I see. Yes, yes. Crow. And baby crow sees it piggybacking off for you. Mm -hmm. Is That's why Portia seems to have a bad taste in men. Because she always goes for the ones that are the ballers. That has it all together. Come on, baby clone. That's baby clone talking. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. She always has the showy off men that seem like they got all the riches and she can I mean, she was it. one of um she was one of um oh, what's his name? He's locked up. Oh, you know, R. Big Kelly. Girl. R. Kelly. she was an R. Kelly girl, right? Yes. Oh Lord, I wouldn't have never told nobody that story either. 
Sometimes you just talk too much, but it is no way in God's green earth I would be proud of this. It is no way that I would go on this show and reveal my life like this because you know they're going to eat him up alive and you too with it. Because what are you tangled up in, girly? Who come on now? You know now you know they gonna gobble you up and eat you. So you gotta be coming on this story, and you know Bob Bravo. You know it ain't nothing but a chicken wing, and you know Bravo when they get around black folks, they like that fried chicken. They be finger looking good. So you are going to be a feast. I'm just. I, I was worried about, I was like, oh, what can it do? You can't bring out for the show and bring it back to Portia and 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 and, and what's her name? Um Kenya. But I hope not. But if it's going to make ratings, because all I could see is Kenya bringing this out in the open. Yes. I hope not. I mean, who want to be the bearer of bad news, right, Kenya? But I still love her. I'm glad that, that that's their back. But I also heard, I don't know if it's true, I also heard that um, Phaedra got caught up in some mess and may not be back. It's a question mark with Phaedra. But this reading is not about Phaedra. This reading is not about Kenya. But this reading is about Portia. Portia. How is Portia dealing with all this? What card we're gonna pick for Portia? How's the mask? Huh? The mask. Why would she need a mask? Her husband, but this reading ain't about him. He's a byproduct. He's gonna be mentioned, but this is about okay. Portia. I'm going um, to put Portia okay. as the rich woman. Okay. Okay. Cause she's like she had money. People saying, but to me, if her husband and all that, it's all a scam. I already saw on Tisha Tales where she showed the house was rented, and they showed the food that she was eating. I can't see these bloggers. Well, girl, you you how you going to survive the bloggers? Who child with my cards and the bloggers? You you gonna go through something? Good luck and welcome back. But sometimes people just need to stay out of the media. So we said it's going to be the rich girl, the the beautiful woman. That's what we're going for. Yes, she is fabulous. Money looks well on her. It does look well. On her. She wears money well. At least if it's That's not money, money, it's fake money. Here it is. <laughs> If it ain't, here it is. You like that? Yes. You see it? Yes. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. What is this marriage like? Is Portia trying to get out of this marriage? Because I don't know. But she might love him. Let's find out what's going on of a Portia. Let's find out here. So far, it ain't bad. It ain't bad at all. It is not bad, folks. It is not bad at all. Not at all. At all. At all. So sometimes I just speak too soon. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I'm going to tell you, sometimes I speak too soon. We have the serpent okay. and we have the whip. So let me take a look at it. You ready, baby crone? Yes, baby crone is ready. What I see, like I said, I see two strong birds here. I see two strong birds, and these are owls. So that lets me know they are very, very wise, and they know what's going on. This is the whip 11 and 7. So this is the wise owl. I call them the wise old owl. So we see that they are a couple, and I do see he looks out for her. He does take care of her. You see, he's there getting food. He is doing what he has to do for Portia. Do he love her? Yes. Birds made for life. I really do believe that. And also, I truly believe it's a family tree. I think this is about love and about commitment. I don't know if she can have children or if she can't. I don't know why the family tree showed up in this reading. Got to come back to that. However, if anything, and her having babies, it could be a problem that maybe she may have problems in conceiving, allegedly. However, but what I do know, what was in this, this marriage coming into this relationship, it was trouble. 
Coming into this relationship, it was a hardship. Coming into it for Portia, it was a whipping. She knew better. Coming into it, it was a snake there all the time. He was not honest. How much honesty she knew or didn't know shows me that she he was not honest from the root. And it shows me that there is a whipping that on the face of it, she took a really bad whipping for what happened with her and being the other woman with Fallon. And I know that a lot of people say, well, Fallon was cheated. Hey, that's between Fallon and her husband. Nobody wants to be get a man by default. She, he was a married man. She got him by default. No matter what, who am I to judge? But let's just call a thing a thing. Now, in her pre in her presence, I think she's taking chances with this show. I think she's gambling. I think that the money in it, I think she made a good deal for herself. I truly do. According to what the bloggers say, they said that she made a, a deal that 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 is a great deal, that she can work other places, that she got money. Yeah, she, she went and got the gold card. Sorry platinum for what I understand in her contract. Over the years, she learned to be wise and smart. However, down at the earth, I see lilies. And what do I say? Lilies is the end of something. Something is going to be a hot mess, but lilies are the end of something and the lesson to be learned. In other words, it's a sweet ending. It's a sweet, it's like, you know how you're going through something or you're learning something or it's a breakup, but you break up, you've been together. It's not a bad breakup. It's you're devastated, but it wasn't a bad breakup. It, you could have broke up because the person deceased, the, the person moved away. You could have broke up for a thousand reasons why this person may found out they were gay. Um, this, this race could have been a lesbian. Um, give me a reason. Somebody could break up because infidelity. they really don't infidelity. Not enough sex. Not enough sex. Like whatever the breakup was, it wasn't, it's not a breakup that is so devastating. It's like, you could see the breakup. You can understand why you have the breakup and that way it's sweet, but it's bitter. So I see a breakup. What do you mean? An ending of something. And I think in the present, this show is going to start revealing some things to us. And it's going to be bittersweet. In the future, when I look at it, in the near future with them, anywhere within the next month, two, three months, two, six months, to eight months to a year, I definitely see all eyes going to be on them. She brought this thing to the forefront. I don't know why, because all it's going to do is make the government zero in on him and her more. What do you think, baby Carl? Yes, sir. This is. was not a wise move. And here I see a house. I see disturbances going to come to her house. Disturb What house? The house with her and Gabadia. What's his name? Kabadia, his house, Simon, Simon, I see a storm. This is earth. This is level. This is earth plane right here. I see storm. I see the sun going to come out and maybe the sun is out now, but when they go to do the show, it's a lot coming out because these bloggers are out like who piranhas. Also, I see the lilies. You know what I feel? And last, I see a house. So their house is going to be affected. Go ahead, baby clone. Oh, uh, yes, two things, make sure it's. I was wondering. Thank with, you, baby clone. Yes, you're welcome. I was wondering about um, Portia here looking at the cards because we do see the dice of her taking the chance of um, bringing. Going her. on the air, bringing this out like this. Crazy. Yes, and I want, and I'm thinking this is baby Crone's theory. Mm -hmm. That maybe Portia took this opportunity because if, it's a reason behind it. It makes no sense. Yes. If his visa is expiring, if he's technically working in America, does that allow him How to is he working in America? Because he will be on the show with Portia reporting. So technically, maybe he's, he's on paid. a visa. You're right. Maybe he is. Well, see if he's on a visa. See, well, you could look for that. What was your question? Because that's a very good question. Is Portia taking this opportunity with Bravo to keep Simon in America? I wouldn't know how that could be. Because 
And let me go back here. In the future, what I do see, again, I see a child. Portia had a child. I don't know if they're trying to get pregnant or maybe she can or can't. I don't know about that. Go ahead. Yes, it does say that Simon's citizenship has been denied. Well, continues to be denied. So he ain't in the country. Is he in the country? Just ask, is Simon Gabadia in the country? Because how is Portia wedding going to work? She's going to move to Africa or wherever. Maybe he's not in Africa. Maybe he, I mean, he's in some Hispanic country. Nope. It says as of um, when a hearing was requested to resolve this in October of 2022, mm -hmm. the denial was reaffirmed. As it turns out, he will be ordered to exile the U.S. and not return. When? Um, that, well, that was in of 2022. <gasps> um, yes, then here in March of 2023, he was reportedly, he reportedly asked the government to vacate the denial. But it still continues to deny his citizenship. So he's not here? No. So what kind of, so she needs that money. So people were saying she rich and everything. What's going on, Portia? Girl, girl, I see this show right here, her house. I, you see, I know you see it. You see, house, lilies, and storm. How long is she going to keep the parade? Now I see a child. And you know what, Portia, funny about exposing her child to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So the child is right in the middle of this. That's her heart. And it just seemed like maybe she won a child or something. And maybe if she could have had a child, maybe that could have helped. I doubt it because of the crimes that he has committed. That is why he cannot be let back in. And yet I see her child and her husband, Portia's in a mess. Why she would come on air, other than the fact for that money for the money, baby, it's nothing else for me. What do you think? Yeah, how do you deal with sense. when you find out you married to a shyster? Go ahead. Yes, I mean, okay, can we pull a cards to see if Portia knew that she was married to? Oh, I'm getting ready to do that. Hold that thought. I'm getting ready to end it. I was just hoping, and right now, a bridge broke. Portia looking to get out. Portia is wanting out of this. Portia know that this is too much. She talking now, talking now, but I see a bridge. Be it mental or physical, a bridge is what? It's a way to what? To get over. Yes. It's a way to get out of something. Am I right about it? Yes, you are. Mm -hmm. Now, go ahead. What was your question? Yes, my question is... And she on this show. She knows she ought not be on this show. She ready for the whipping. She's like, they going to whip me. They going to they gonna beat me. They going to try to sweep me out the door. But my loving way is going to get me back because I know how this show works. Girl, they going to whip you. Wow. Girl, how can they not? And the way you got this man, girl, mm -mm. you know this is a money move. She's like, I got to get money. My husband ain't here. <laughs> so where is he at? He's in Puerto Rico or someplace? Let's see. Where, where is he at? Where is Portia's husband residing at this moment? Lord have mercy. Portia, Portia. You know I had I couldn't let this go. Come on now. This was a juicy story. I had just read on Bravo. Somebody was saying how you so rich and this. You could be. I wouldn't deny. You look fabulous, though. You look absolutely gorgeous. So I'm not saying that. I'm just saying how it worked when you got a thief for a husband. That is true. Call it what you want. You always had a bad taste in men, Portia. You really have. Come on now. Come on. Do better. Whatever you're doing, you're going to have to change the way you're doing something. You're a beautiful girl, but you're getting the slimes of the earth, honey. Honey, I do understand. But uh, but you getting you getting the slime, but they dressed up in Gucci and they dressed up in, um, in fancy clothing. What is the name of that man? Um, Balenciaga. Not Balenciaga. Oh, Carl Langefeld. And what's the other one that had to design? Fasashi, yeah, you into that Fasashi, 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 and so you get all mixed up 
When you see the clothes and stuff and the white, bright teeth, the cap, you get caught up. You see the car, you get caught up. And see, mm, you find yourself in a pickle. No matter what, you married a snake. Let's see. Now, he may have money, but I don't know how this is going to work because he cannot come back to this country ever. Yes. If you're He's exiled. a star. He is exiled. So how is that wedding going to work? How that marriage going to work? And, so, and, for, and as far as her wedding, I don't like to get into all of that, but I heard things about her wedding and how she didn't pay for it. I don't want to get into all that. It was beautiful from what I saw. But nevertheless, this is about Simon. What was your question? And yeah. her. Yes, my question is, does, did Portia know she married a shyster? I see. I'm going to tell you what I see. I'm going to tell you honestly what I truly see. I see new beginnings. I really do. I think a lot of new ideas. I think Portia saw her life was getting made a change. She was going to become the rich woman, the wealthy woman, the woman like, you know, when they rich, when they can talk to the birds, you know, that's, that's what I say. This is a rich woman. This is a wealthy woman. She really thought that love was in her life. She really thought that love was coming and that this was going to turn her life and she was going to finally live the life of a soap opera, like she was going to really live this grand, luxurious, rich life with all these promises and ideas and things he showed her. Yes. You see the cup? And even though the cup was tilted, it was going in another direction. She didn't see it. She just saw all the goodness. You have a question? My next question is, how does Simon feel keep getting denied citizenship? Oh, God. Oh, God. Emotional, like a kid, angry, emotional, very sad about it. Very sad and emotional, like a kid, his emotions about it. Very kid-like and very emotional about it. It's a great loss. Mm -hmm. And how does Portia feel? <laughs> Two pages. Oh my God. You hear the same thing? A kid financially, it's a loss. He's not here. It's a loss. So financially, some kind of way, earthly, finance, either it's physical or, or it's financial. She's feeling it. She's feeling Big Papa not around. She missed him. It's like it's a loss for both of them. Because I see, just like you see the kid with the money, but this is a child. And so she missed Big Papa. And I guess that's why she's doing the show. She needs the money. I'm sure he given her, but what she needed for, you know. And um, and I'm sure that I'm not sure I wouldn't. But I, I can imagine that at this point, either you're going to come and live over where I am or you're going to stay here. Because if this is my wife or my husband, I'm not going to fit for you to stay there for so long. You come be where I am. So she's up against a lot. You have another question? Yes. My next question mm -hmm. is, does Portia love Simon? Yes. She really loves him. She loves him. Is she going to go where he is? That's a good one. Maybe reminiscing. I get that reminiscing card and I guess she will see him as often as she can, but will she go and live with him? I'm going to say, mm, mm. let me tell you what I see. First of all, I see a lily. You see lilies again. I see a lily, you know, so I see lilies. That's what I see him. And yet I see victorious. So I think that she's going to come up with a decision that is going to work best for her and her child. And I'm getting the feeling she doesn't want to take Pilar from the family. And from that, I'm getting a feeling like she's trying to get up on her feet and not depend on him. I think this is going to be a lot to detail. Do she love him? Yes. Do I see her with them? I see the six. And whenever I see the six, I, oh, I can't help it. That is the devil's number. When I see the six, I see deception. When I see a six, 
I, I, I'm feeling like she's in a web right here. What do you think? She's in the web. And I do think that she's showing, she's showing one way, but she's been deceived. And she's just trying to hide it. She's going to try to fake it till she make it. But these bloggers are going to eat her up. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. I think she's faking it. I think right now she's just being delusional. Like I got it like that. But at the end of the day, like I said, this is y'all not even together like that. You over here doing it, so you're gonna be filming, or now you was filming. So how is this working? Well, the filming is over. Right. So when are they coming on? Let's see. Oh, that's some good ginger ale. <laughs> <laughs> Mm-hmm. What you have, baby crown? Baby crown trying to find the newest season. It haven't came on yet. Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out. Sorry about this. But I figured out tighten up my lips. You know that line you get. They need to do something with lipstick to stop that line like that. I hate it. Um, it has not and, been set. Oh, it okay. hasn't been set yet. Yeah, no. But we know it's coming, and I'm I'm excited. So the rumor mill is out on posha, 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 posha. This is gonna be a mess. I want to know how it's gonna affect. Cause I see, I don't know how their marriage gonna uphold against this. Cause I see right now he's gonna be jealous and secure. She's on this show. You know, this is gonna be a mess. That's what I see. Um. What I predict, I think she's going to have some decisions to make, but it's all about finances. You know, she go to another country and she goes to be where he's at. Maybe he won't get in any trouble. You know what I mean? But he's a crooked man and he's been in crooked business and he had many aliases. So it's a lot written out on him. So, you know, Bravo don't play. So you go on this show. It's already. So she's ready. Here it is. She says, I'm ready for to be swept and whipped. I'm ready because you know what? She said, it's all about the Benjamins. I'm making money in this. Right. So you have another question, but she does love him. She does love him. She does. And, and it is a loss with him not being with her here. It is that true. So um, are they going to, are they going to survive this? No, somebody going. It looked like she looked like somebody going to get up and, and run up out of there. Yeah, as the wheel of fortune. What I see, I see the seven, and I see that somebody is going to. It's, it's just going to get ugly. They not going to want to stick around. It's going to be too much for one of them to handle. Georgia line, who you think it is? I'm thinking it's going to be Portia, but it could be Simon. But I think it's going to become too much, and so where it stops is the wheel of fortune. What do you mean? You spin it. Where it stopped, that karma will, where it stopped, it stopped. The only thing is, she says she coming on as Lavatica. She might leave as Williams. I don't know, but this will be interesting to see. I don't like to forecast, but I am forecasting, right? Yeah. So, I'm, I, but what I do know, there's going to be some mess about this thing, about where she lived, be it on camera or off. Because I don't know how much she's going to allow them to show. But I definitely see that this is going to affect her and Simon. You have any more questions? I do not think so. Well, I think that's all I got for you. I really do. But before I go, let me tidy up these cards right here. I want to do a quick, quick reading. Someone asked me to do a reading on, what was it? Uh, Tabitha and what was it? And, and and Monique, were they getting a show together? Yes. Now, I don't know if it's true. I don't like to do predictions because the ancestors don't like it when I do it because it's like I'm gambling. But I will do it this one time and see how I feel about it. The last time I gambled about something, it didn't work out. But I will do it. I know you're saying you're reading cards and you're predicting. Yes, but I could see it. But this is where I'm really just going in and doing a, some kind of prediction. All right. 
And here it is. So we shuffle. Uh, nope, I'm not going to use these. I'm going to go in here. Okay. Let me go in because this is a good place to take the predictions because here we go. We're going to pick out a card. Okay. We got justice. So we see, let's see that. I always like to pick out three. Justice. Justice is what? Air? Yes. We got fire. So we know air and fire blends. Yes. Right? So we know that if air is up, but we know fire should be up. But we know fire and air blend. So that's not too bad, would you say? No. All right. And the last card would be fire. So new ideas. So they had, someone said that they was talking about a show. It's up in the air. And especially after this thing with Monique, I think that we're going to have to wait and die it down. But I definitely see incoming. So it definitely seemed like it could be something that they might wind up doing. The cards are showing positive. The cards are showing positive. You see, you see justice. Justice is there. And you see the, the wands, they're not moving out, but they're coming inward. And you see a new beginning of something. And you see something, a, a tower. So you see that the idea is materializing, definitely. Like I said, this is me forecasting. I normally don't like the forecast, but I did for this one. So we'll see. Don't hold it against me. But I do say that it is promising that that could happen. If it's going to happen, it will happen. If it's in the works and if they said that they are thinking about it, I think now that Monique situation got blown, that may tamper with it. Let me put that out there. However, but if that can blow over and, and it's not so bad, maybe. I see a strong maybe. Definitely a strong maybe. Is that okay? Yeah. That's what I see. And let me show you. Wands coming inward, justice, justice meaning, yeah, I don't see, here's new beginnings. So this is fire. This is energy. This is a lot of thought and energy and passion. So yes, I definitely see that it can happen. It just depends. And if they could die, I can't even say this enough. If they can die down, what's going on with Monique? And it's not loud and it die away, maybe, because I don't even think that Tabitha will want to even get tangled up in none of this because she, so far, she has a squeaky clean personality. And this is the Tabitha that's the vegan, correct? I think that's her. I'm not sure. But anyway, that's my read on Monique um, and Tabitha getting a show. Someone asked, I gave you only time would reveal. Hey, hey, if it come out wrong, don't blame me. I don't like it. The ancestors, I like doing it, but my ancestors don't. But I did it anyway. So we'll see. I read the cards. That's all I got. I hope you enjoyed that. I love you. This is why I do what I do for you. All you have to do is ask me. And what the cards say, they say. I can't change it. We have to wait and see, right? But if it's wrong, I told you, yes? But I'm believing there's some truth to this. I really am. But I could be wrong. The cards could be wrong because they told me they don't want me using them for this. But I tried it anyway. Is that okay, baby Carl? Yes, okay. Is that okay with you? Thank you for understanding. And with that being said, thank you for joining us. See us back a little later. We're going to be doing the housewives. So, Please join us for that. Thank you for joining us. I, I find so much pleasure in reading for you all. I really, really do. And I'm getting great at it. Mm -hmm. I love it more. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Sunflowers.